Hello, I'm Dr. Riley, and today we're going to discuss the femur and its markings. If you are given a whole table full of bones and you need to know where the femur is, first you would look at the size. The femur is the longest bone in the body. It also has a very large head. And this head is a ball and socket that fits perfectly into the pelvis. Well, if this is the head, then what goes under it is the neck. So this is the neck of the femur. This large protuberance is called the greater trochanter. This is the greater trochanter. And so this is the lesser trochanter. This is the lesser trochanter. And between the two of them, we have the inter trochanteric line. And these are all areas that muscles are going to fit. Coming down the shaft of the femur, we have the linea aspera, the linea aspera, again for attachments. At the bottom, we have two rounded knobs, and these are called condyles. These are the condyles. And in between the condyles is the intercondylar fossa. And a fossa is going to be an area that goes on in. You will probably be asked to know your lateral from your medial. So what you want to do is turn it around to the front. We know this is the front because of the patellar surface, the kneecap or the patellar surface. And we look to where it would fit. And here we can see that we have the left. Here we can see we fit on the left because we have the kneecap going out. So if this is the left, then this is the medial side and this is the lateral side. The medial side above the condyle is the medial epicondyle. And on the lateral side, you have the lateral epicondyle. So once again, we have the head, the neck, the greater and the lesser trochanter. We have the intertrochanteric line, the shaft, the linea aspera. We have the intercondylar fossa. We have the two condyles. This one would be the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle. Next, we will take a look at the tibia and the fibula.